So a few of you wanted me to show my kit stash and today I'm going to do that starting with these dragon kits. And there are a few here. First up is one that is Guadalcanal US Marines. Another is the Normandie and then the Ardenne. One in France but the Panzer crew pointing out that there's a plane coming. Another Ardenne one, another Normandy one, Germany command staff. Next to that is the Fiat Kong set and this one I'm going to use for my Bulldog diorama. Pretty nice kit. Looking forward to building that. Below that is really nice kit you can use in almost every diorama. Also Normandy again. Below that is US Marine set in Vietnam, the Tet Offensive. Below that is Normandy again and more Normandy kits. Next to that are some Tamiya ones. First up is an M4 Sherman, then a Stuka Zafusa half track, King Tiger, a BM1 Bis with this motorized kit, and the male motorized kit. Next to that is a Jeep that I already built, and another one, a swim wagon that I already built. I think I built this one when I was nine. And below that is a Flak 38 and some German uh, troops on Tamiya and another one kit that I didn't build it's just a update set for a gym So below that is an M8 uh, Howitzer motor carriage and I built this light utility car, a Japanese tank uh, Chi Ha and a quad tractor and a horse that I already built and light armored Japanese vehicle again. A lot of Japanese stuff. Scouts of Demler. Some figures I already built. A box of uh, 30. Puck 36 that I already built. Some Japanese soldiers or officers. Down below is some more kits that I already built. Some spare parts. Uh, these two old kits I'm never going to build. They are complete, but yeah, they're useless and old and ugly. <laughs> And below that there is a Simca 5 staff car, another Japanese uh, self-propelled gun, another Japanese uh, car, an M1, uh, a, an M113, an Australian one version then, and another Japanese self-propelled gun. And these kits are the same. Basically this one is a new one and that one is an I think a second release with fine mold figures and this one is a lot better than that one but yeah and below that is a type 3 chinu tank a lot of japanese stuff like i already pointed out next to that are some figures i already built that one this one is already built that one i think is complete but i'm never going to build that that one is already built and this one I'm going to use for the uh, light armored vehicle below that are some spare parts again some drums some weapons a uh, <coughs> German on a horse, some Germans on two bikes, and those two are not built, those two are complete. Below that are some Tamiya kits that I already built. This one I built when I was 12, 
years old, I think, and came to the conclusion that the hull was more than a one centimeter out of scale. And that's because it's based on a motorized kit from Tramia and they needed more space to fit the motor in it. So they made it one centimeter longer. And next up is Sparkwagen, uh, also a really nice kit. Next up are some more Dragon Kits, a Ferdinand tank I bought at the toy store on a discount, a uh, Kami, a Japanese Hago, a German Funkwag or Radio uh, Panzer 1, and another Hago tank, plus a Pac 40. So next to that is more uh, Dragon Kits. First up is a real rare kit, and that's this one. One of my uh, on the top list to build. It's a st starter helper motor for a uh, <coughs> a panzer. So a starter, a wetter starter, and plus mechanics. A Gubelwagen called uh, it's a cold wetter starter for uh, to fit on the Gubelwagen. comes with a Gubelwagen and a crew of course. So I'm looking forward to build that one. Another one is a Wind Talker Special Edition from Dragon that comes with two kits, one US Marines and uh, I think an old Japanese figure kit from Dragon. Next up is some US Marines in uh, on a mule in Vietnam then uh, US Army uh, Armored Infantry, US Marines and more US Marines and then a uh, Kettenkrat or Ketten or Kettenkrat. Next up are some fine mold kits, some figures below on Tech A and then uh, a Chiha that are already built and a Japanese truck. Below that is an Italy Sherman and a Demach with a Flak 38 on it. Next to that is a US Marine Corps Sherman. Next to that are some more fine mold kits and pit road kits. This one I already built, built this one but I have two more of those that I want to use. I, I really want to use the Japanese gun of course. It's in that kit. A Japanese pickup truck, a Gubelwagen, some Japanese train crew, but I already built it. Some German uh, field howitz and gun crews, some Pricer kits, and these are really nice kits. Some civilians, some Germans on the move, and some more Germans that are resting. Some TriStar kits. One is all. Of, one is again Battle of the Bulge, of course. <laughs> There's more over here. And first up are some Star Wars Bandai kits. This one I already made. Boba Fett and a Scout Trooper. Next up is a kit from Orishima Initial D. Maybe one of you guys know that anime. Next up is then, then a short trooper. I already built that one as well. Some mini art figures and a car. A fission models kit that I really want to build. A matchbox Sherman, a Ravel Lux, a Russian half track. A water trailer or tank trailer, a SIS-2 gun, a cast truck and on master box figures and below that is a Yacht Panzer motorized kit, pretty old from uh, Nishama. Above that is a really old ISCM kit.
So yeah, below that is a Polish tank, a Ravel kit, a Yak Panzer that I already built, an LVT, another M113, and an Admiral staff car. Here are some Mirage kits, Lux, another Polish tank, more Mirage kits, a T set 26 flamethrower tank, and another more Pacific model figures, like Japanese figures, and Japanese and America figures, and German figures, and some civilians. Next up are some old trumpet kits. And yeah, some and an old Bronco kit with a Chinese tank. And another trumpet kit. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.